Hello knife fans and homicidal maniacs. You might see the, me using these three little knives when I open up my packaging when I'm reviewing the little toys. I got all those off AliExpress. They're pretty cool. They work, you know. This one you can replace with the X-Acto knife blades. This little, you know, Damascus axe, really cheap. But it actually keeps a good edge. Uh, I've, I think I only sharpened it like once. Uh, anyways, so I, I have bigger knives, of course. And uh, this is like a titanium one, and you can replace these blades. They're Ulfa blades. So I use this to cut like real cardboard pieces and the like, and it works well. So if you see these things that have these sliding uh, mag lock mechanisms, they're they're very good. Uh, and also, let's just make a comment. This one has a curved blade in it, uh, and that actually works well. The problem is it's going to be really hard to sharpen. You know, it's just got a bunch of glue from cutting tape and stuff. So, and you don't even need to have it stick out that much. Like, it's going to stick out that far. But sharpening these things or replacing the blades would become expensive. So, I thought I'd just try something new. It was like a, I don't know, sale on AliExpress. It's an out-the-front knife. It's, I think it's an automatic knife, but it takes regular, like, uh, utility knife blades. So, this just came in uh, an, a padded envelope, and uh, I thought I'd do a review here. So it takes SK5 uh, blades, all right? Like I have an old Irwin, you know, thing that that's very ergonomic, but it's a giant, giant uh, knife. Whereas this is clearly uh, smaller. Let me go get that Irwin. Yeah, so if one of these, you know, typical knife you would see, you can unscrew it, keep an extra blade in there, and then it just slides out there. I guess I was cutting, melting some plastic with it. Uh, and it's very good ergonomically. I have size XL hands and uh, if I was to cut boxes for hours on end I would probably use this right because it fits my grip very well all right but it's kind of ugly to look at right it's also very big I mean it's if you think these are big I mean this thing is huge right so it makes it a little impractical if you're just doing like uh, small jobs all right well let's take a look at this so we got a, a grip texture I think that there's a listing where it had something else in here, although I, it, I forget. I don't know if it was like a smooth piece of wood or something. Uh, you'll just have to look it up. So just look up like SK5 knife, and I'm sure these will come up. Uh, EDC might be a search term as well, everyday carry. So it's CNC to aluminum, I can see. It's uh, anodized green, and it's got the uh, hex head uh, button, button uh, bolts there, and that's holding the the cap to the bottom half yeah I, I can't really say it matches up very well you can see how these lines are not matching the top and the bottom but this is a this was not an expensive knife so uh, that's fine by me as long as it works that's the thing so there's a big loop here if you want to run like some paracord some sort of lanyard or maybe possibly like a, a key ring uh, I will say these are very smoothed off so I don't think they will bite into the hand too much but at the same time uh, you're not gonna get very much grip see my fingers want to slide all over these things so possibly that's why they have this black grip tape this is like you know skateboard tape it's definitely you can hear the noise and but over time I think this grit is gonna wear out like sandpaper if you do use it a lot so the overall dimensions I kind of feel like the handles short um, let's see. So it's a little like 93 millimeters, almost nine and a half centimeters, inch wise. Uh, oh, three and three quarters, I would say, somewhere in that ballpark as far as the overall length goes. Yeah, the width is maybe five, four and a, 45 millimeters, or two, one and three quarters of an inch. And then the actual thickness without the uh, belt clip seems to be like 11 millimeters or I hate this measurement system. You're going to have to figure out all those lines yourself. I don't know. And then with the clip, well, that's harder to say. So, all right. Well, there's the out the front. So it is just 
move this thing forward, move it back, knife comes out. So the serrations here on this actuator are pretty good. They're curved from the top view, and then they're obviously sloping in a curve here. So it fits your thumb very nicely. I have no indication that that would slip very easily. Not compared to this stuff, at least. This is very, very smoothed off. All right. So that could become an issue long if you're going to do a lot of cutting. I don't know if this is going to be comfortable. I feel it's very thin, you know, uh, but it is tall. So you can see, you know, these two fingers get a good purchase. Or actually, uh, these three, they all kind of touch. This one just doesn't really touch as much for some reason, the, the way I grip it. I... Yeah, I almost kind of want to grip it up here, but that's probably a bad thing to do because the knife, <laughs> the knife edge will cut you, you know, maybe if you, especially if you do that. All right, uh, no branding or anything like that. It's just a generic knife. You can remove the belt clip if you want. It's probably like, it's very strong. It's a steel, you know, clip. I don't know if it's spring steel or not, but yeah, very strong. Okay, so that's that. Let's now looking at the actual holder for the blades. Seems like this is stainless steel. You can see three layers, one, two, three layers of stainless steel, and uh, they've CNC'd some lightning uh, grooves in here. And this must be the blade lock here that you can uh, flex to get the blade in there. All right, let's look at these blades here. So obviously you can get these anywhere. Directional arrows comes out this side. And if you put used ones in, I think, huh, nope, this makes no accommodation for used blades. You can remove this. There's a little uh, button here you can press in, and this whole tray will come out. But, uh, well, let's try it. Oh boy, there's a screwdriver here. Hmm. Or you might have to get a. That doesn't want to really push down. I think it's just molded into a black base. So you actually literally have to flex this clear part away out like that. And then you can cut it out. So that wasn't actually hard to do. Yeah, okay. Oh, I just, that thing just cracked. So I don't think it's intentional designed to be removed very often seeing how it just cracked so that's not the highest quality knife uh blade box again though it's fine uh you know just buy a new one and uh it should have a better box i think so let's see if we can put this in without me having to go to the hospital uh let's see i guess it has to go in like this all right and then i have to move this aside Push that down a little bit, and then that should snap back into one of those knife blade grooves. Which it did not. You see, it's how it's not snapped back. Let me pull it out a tiny bit. Nope. Huh, it's interesting. I think that piece right there has to lock into one of these recesses. But I can't see the other side, so... It's hard to say. It's somewhere in that groove. So let me try this again. All right. Put that aside. There's the first landing. So maybe it's only supposed to engage the first, but let me try to flick that out and go to the second. Uh, so that's it. It won't go to the second uh, groove, that one, just the first. All right. Well, it's in place. And you can now see, or hear, tiny bit of wiggling. I can't really say I see any movement. Let's, oh, there it is. Nope. So it is moving at a fraction of a millimeter. I don't, will that really affect your ability to cut cardboard? Probably not. So, speaking of which. So, I keep my garbage roll right next to the desk. Uh, so, let's uh, cut this stuff here. Just a thin piece of, you know, cardboard. More like a poster board, really. Alright. Uh, so, these are, these are definitely sharp blades. That is cutting through like butter. No problems with that cardboard. 
Here's a real shipping box, like an Amazon kind of box, right? Corrugated. Shave it. Yeah, so this is... These are real... You know, there's no reason to believe that these are, like, bad blades. Uh, I guess they're just generic SK-5 blades, but they're very sharp, as you can see. Here's the bag it came in. Oh, yeah, no problems. Yeah, all right. And then here's some packaging plastic. One of my uh, Muscle Machines cars. Got it in there pretty easily. Okay, so, yeah, you can, <laughs> it it's, works pretty well, actually. You'll notice I'm trying to, like, scallop this cut. And that works easily because the thing is so tall. You know, you can just ri rotate your wrist like that, and it seems to work pretty well. Whereas uh, one of the thinner knives, you know, you, you can still do it, but it's not, it's not as controllable, right? Literally, this thing is probably like 20% wider than, than one of these types. I had to clean up a little bit. So with the out the front automatic knife, one thing you gotta be careful about is this, it'll be really difficult to engage this in your pocket, but I guess if you maybe climb down a ladder and you put this knife in upside down, like the opposite of the belt clip, you could maybe snag something and do that. Uh, it's pretty inset though, you know, it's inset quite a bit from this, this edge, but it is something to be aware of, so I just thought it'd be interesting to put this piece of cardboard in front of it and uh, see what happens here. Yeah, nothing. In fact, it, it stalled it, and that's actually typical of uh, other out-the-front knives, which I'll show in a second. So if that does happen, just pull it out, and that's it. So just again, if you stall it, oh, that one actually locked. I locked again. All right, that did it. So just pull it all the way out like that, and you're good. You'll see this. Some uh, that's the catch, I guess, for the mechanism inside. All right. So it's pretty smooth in its movement. Let's see if there's any play this way. Yes, there is. Quite a bit. Uh, so let me uh, put this background here and. I need focus for you guys. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of play. It's uh, <laughs> well, we'll compare it to a sec in a second. But let me dig this knife into this cardboard here. All right? We can see see what kind of movements going on at near the knife tip. All right, so. For comparison, here's a small Microtech. I think it's called a Trudon. And, uh, uh... You know what? This has a little play also. Yeah, it does. You can see the tip here, hopefully. It's, it's definitely moving. You can hear it, even. Yeah, okay. Uh, here's a full-size Microtech. Here's a Tonto knife blade. Yeah, this one moves a little bit as well. There's not actually much movement down here, but it's accentuated, exaggerated by the fact that the tip is that far away. So, but if keeping the tip really stable, uh, I don't think an out the front is your best friend. Uh, it might not might not work well. I mean, these are considered to be like the best, or were at least when I bought them. Okay. Um. So yeah, back to this. I guess the difference I can see is there actually is a pretty good amount of play right here where it slides into the the handle. Ah, boy. Focusing is hard. Let me re-situate the camera. I have to literally focus on my fingers. The camera cannot focus on the piece of steel. 
But see, try to concentrate right here. You see? You can see all that movement there. So that's very sloppy. Again, uh, the price, I think, is reflecting that. Whereas this, this thing... I, you just can't see as much movement. It's definitely moving a little bit, but not much. Not this little guy. And the little guy had, definitely has more movement, you can see, right? So actually, for the price of this, I guess it's not so bad. Uh, you know, you clearly saw me cutting. You know, this thing isn't really designed, this blade, knife blade is, I wouldn't say it's designed for carving stuff. You know, I think it's mostly used to cut carpets and cardboard. So I guess I'm happy with it. You know, whenever I have to open up some large, large pieces of cardboard or actually put use a cutting mat and cut some uh, cardboard on that. I think this will be good. So, yeah, I think if you want to obviously carry a knife blade like an SK-5, I mean, the size difference is just huge, all right? Yeah, just overall length, you're saving almost half the length. You know, let me put these side by side with the back here. Right, it's significantly shorter, insanely short, and then width-wise, yeah, it's a big difference, right? It's definitely, I would say, half the width, uh, if you ex exclude the belt clip, that is. But this thing doesn't even have a belt clip, right? I'm not sure if there was ever an accommodation for a belt clip. I don't see anything where it could go, unless maybe there's a piece here. I could be mistaken. All right, guys. Well, anyways, if you see this thing, you know, it's not super expensive. You know, if you accept that, it's pretty good, I think. I mean, to, to buy a Microtech is, is a lot of money. So, But I do know that there's you know, count, counterfeits or knockoffs of these. Uh, I'm sure there's other people that have reviewed them. So, But uh, I think in general, uh, OTFs are, are not really f the most functional knives. They're more about just the coolness of doing that. You know, just like... Like a cigarette lighter, it's kind of cool if it's a nice one, even if you even if you don't smoke. All right, well, thanks for watching today. We'll see if I ever get any other knives. I'll I'll do some reviews on them. Cheers, bye. And don't cut yourself. Band aids.